Good morning, it is currently 8.30. I just left home, I had to sort out some sort of things like washing and like housekeeping stuff. I was tempted to just kind of lie and say that this was about 6.30 and I was on my way to the gym, but um, I thought that'd be disingenuous. So I'm just about to walk into work. So I didn't have anything for breakfast in the house, so I'm just going to the campus supermarket to pick up something to eat. Yeah, about that gym thing. Morning. The first thing I do when I get in is I use an app to keep track of all the tasks that I need to do in a given day. And um, the first thing I do when I get in is to update my to-do list for that day, check out what I know I need to do and certain things I automatically tell me to do every couple of days. But then write in my to-do list for the day and then get on with trying to check them off. So this morning I've been continuing my work, which I've been working on for the past couple of weeks now, looking at um, an anomaly in the middle atmosphere um, in a field that's called potential vorticity, how we can represent that in a different coordinate system and um, uh, do the sort of operations and computations on the field that's associated with the anomaly. It's a little bit complicated to explain. But a um, little bit of work on the laptop, a little bit of work by hand, and also a little bit of work with party rings because the office brings biscuits in all the time and it's actually quite difficult to kind of stay in shape when there's so many literally packs of biscuits all the time. I mean it's a great problem to have, don't get me wrong. Oh no, the ice cream van's back, that's dangerous. So at the student union section of the main university building that I'm in, there's somewhere where you can uh, sit here and have your meals, which for me is stir fry, which um, you can microwave here. It's just nice, it's nice to get out of the office and um, kind of clear your head. I sometimes come here and work if I need to just get away from the whole academic environment and get away from the pressure and be really creative. There's loads of places to eat on campus, it's just that um, I'm trying to be cheap and healthy, which means reusing meals and not having the admittedly delicious fried stuff that I can get on campus. Uh, much as I'd love to. So I spent that lunch time after I'd eaten going through and replying to emails and comments and messages on my YouTube channel. So I run a YouTube channel um, about being a PhD researcher and giving kids advice on getting into university and um, it's just it's it's quite a lot of work and it is difficult sometimes to kind of balance it with um, actually doing the PhD it's very worthwhile doing but you do have to get good at time management if you're doing it also I bought a magnum so this afternoon I'm gonna leave the geometry work that I was doing this morning behind because I find that I'm more creative in the morning in the afternoon I need something a bit more rigid to work to so I'm gonna be reading some papers um, ready to put into my thesis and um, also a couple of other theses um, to compare what I'm doing to just to get the style of my um, theory chapter which I'm writing at the moment as, as close as it can be to be uh, to what the examiners are expecting. So, happy. so I kind of reneged on my plan to just do uh, geometry in the morning and papers in the afternoon I just ended up doing uh, a bit more geometry and I actually got a result out. I, I think I've actually now managed to get it to work, so go team. <laughs> After that I was looking through some papers and while I try not to print out papers because it's kind of bad for the environment just to print out reams of paper and then read it once or twice, um, when I find a paper that I know is going to be particularly useful, I generally print it out and actually take hard notes on it, you know, in pen and in highlighter, just because I find that if it's really important stuff it helps it go into my brain a little bit easier. But it's now just gone past what, about five, quarter past five. So I try to keep a vague nine to five schedule. If I get here early, I leave early. If I get here late, I leave late. Um, and I'm about to head home. Exeter's campus, especially in summer, is just so gorgeous. It's um, used to be on an old, um, well, it's based on an old arboretum. So there's loads and loads of trees. I, th I remember reading once, I think, this is a citation needed, but I think it's got the highest tree to student ratio in the country, which I could believe. Hey! Oh, Avast, how are you doing? You said the cathedral thing went well? Oh yeah. 
So that was dinner, and um, that's basically the end of my day. I'm now going to be going up to my room and working on uh, the YouTube channel that I run, doing some editing and um, applying to emails, and then um, get an early night and do all of this again tomorrow.